Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 69. Welcome. Okay, so I have a few things to show you today. Uh, let's see, for my finished objects, I have the Christmas character blanket square for September uh, finished, so I wanted to show you that. This is the Christmas character blanket by Sarah Zimmerman. And it is a year-long project that I've been working on, doing a square per month. And this month, I did the last square, besides the top banner and bottom banner, but this is the last square that I have to do. Um, and this is the Christmas stocking square. And the only thing I haven't done, it, it's finished, but the only thing I haven't done is I need to do a white border of double crochets all the way around the edges, and then I will be done with it. I mean, well, until I put them together. So I will um, go ahead and uh, put that white border on, and then I'll lay them out. I want to take a picture of them, kind of get, get a progress picture of all of them together, and then I may go ahead and start whip stitching them together just here and there. Um, so that then the putting together part won't be so large at the end. So anyway, here it is. And this is done, like I said, by corner to corner, but I'm doing the mini corner to corner version of this one. So then the blanket, the blanket won't turn out super large. <laughs> so I'm doing, instead of the double crochet stitches, I'm doing half double crochet stitches. And so when I, cha instead of chaining up three to make my next little square, I chain up two and then do half double crochets. So, um, and then when you, to start a new row, uh, you usually chain up six to do a corner, um, to, I mean, to turn, to go up the other way, uh, but I chant five instead since I'm doing half double crochets. So anyway, uh, there's finished object number one. Okay, and then uh, last week I took a break from the uh, 365 days of granny square squares, <laughs> um, but I'm back at it this week. So last time I left off left off at number 292. So, continuing on, this is number 293 right here. Now this one on hers, she had turned, she had used this green and she had made like a bow that attached and she made it look like a Christmas wreath, but I didn't necessarily want it to look like a Christmas themed thing <laughs> or square and so I just didn't do that. So, but anyway, there you go, 293. Okay, 294 is this one right here. Uh, 295, this one was really quick because it's got a lot, a lot of um, treble crochets. 296 right here. <laughs> this one is 297. This one is a little small, but it's very stretchy. So I'm thinking that when I put them together that it will be large enough size. Otherwise, I'll go back with this green and uh, maybe put a single crochet round around it if I feel like it's getting pulled too much. Anyway, this one, she was saying that this pattern right here, it's like a 3D flower. Oh, my, some of my petals aren't sticking out. Let me fix, fix them here. <laughs> Uh, she was just suggesting that you could even turn this, depending on what color you use, you could turn this into like a um, like a poinsettia, poinsettia square if you wanted to do like a Christmas flower theme. Okay. And then the last one I did for this week is number 298. <laughs> this one was turning out a little bit big, and so I, instead of doing a double crochet around the, the last round, I used a half double crochet just to get it where it would be kind of the same size as my other squares. Okay, so that was, up, now I am up to 298. That's the one I just finished. So I'm almost there to 365, well, 366 actually, because she does do a leap year um, square as well. And that was my phone, sorry. Let me put it on silent right fast. Forgot to do that. Okay, okay, now let's see. And then my next finished object is hanging right back there. My fall wall hanging. Uh, if you have seen the video I released just a few days ago, then you have seen this already. It is part of my uh, fall graph along that I um, 
just began this past week, and it is my one of it is my design. Um, I had a fun time designing it. Uh, I'm I'm so excited <laughs> the way it came out. I kind of surprised myself, I think, <laughs> uh, because first time I ever really designed anything. I mean, I've put together blankets and stuff with with different squares that I planned. Now, I didn't design the squares, but uh, different square patterns, I guess. But I really don't count that as, as being an original design. Um, but this one I do. I I mean, I, I guess I do. I, I um, graphed out the images, the owl and the pumpkin, <laughs> and got the letters all graphed out and, and made and then put it together. So um, anyway, if you want to be part of that, uh, you still can. Um, just watch my introduction video and it'll talk about it more. But each week I will release the tutorial that goes along with the chart for each square. This past, well, just a few days ago, I guess it was Monday, I released the pumpkin square. And so next week, uh, at the beginning of the week, I will release the owl and then the fall uh, the following week. So anyway, um, I hope uh, you give it a try and um, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, and I'm just going to say that the pattern is on my Ravelry page, is in my Ravelry store or whatever. <laughs> my first, first and only thing that's in there. <laughs> Okay, so next up is the Hortons. Last week I showed you the three Horton elephants that I was making and I did go ahead and give them, give it to the lady that was wanting them um, this past Sunday. And so uh, I had, they were all finished except for the flowers that I had to make and attach to their trunks. And so I did take a picture of them and it's on my Instagram, but I will show you here. If, if you're not on Instagram. There they are. I think they turned out cute. <laughs> okay, so that makes four in all that I made. <laughs> and this pattern is a paid for pattern uh, and the pattern is uh, Shimmery Creations. And I will put links in the description box below of the patterns that I talk about in this um, in this video. <laughs> okay, and then, so that's my finished objects. Okay, so my works in progress, I started another blanket for the 365 Days of Granny Squares, um, and it is the first row. Uh, this is the last six that I made, and, and I decided to border it in black this time. I hadn't done one in black in a few blankets <laughs> and so I thought I'd go ahead and do the black again so I believe this one I'm going to do maybe go ahead and do the six by six squares uh, the last one I did was six by five as always I will look to see at that point and once I do the five uh, five rows and then decide if I want to go ahead and do the six so we shall see stay tuned <laughs> So anyway, there's my first strip, and so, um, of course, these squares that I just did, I will be adding them to this, uh, and I'll be showing you next week. Okay, so that's, an, uh, see, that's one works in progress. Number two works in progress is the, what I do with it, here it is, <laughs> is the Harmony Stitch Blanket. This is a crochet long that is being hosted by... Um, Sarah Satch here on YouTube. I'll put a link below and she's doing a sampler blanket um, stitch along uh, throughout this whole year and each each month it's the last Monday of each month she releases a new section and so this past week she released the um, section for September yeah, and so here, here it is. I'm, I'll show you up close the part she released it is this spike stitch right there and I did it kind of in multicolors. Yeah. And then I will show you, I'll back up a little bit here so then you can see um, what my blanket's looking like. So there it is. And it is pretty, I, I wanted it to be kind of like lap blanket size. And we have, let's see, October, there's only three, had to count. <laughs> there's only three sections left. So I'm thinking the three sections would be probably from here to here. So about, yeah, I was just trying to kind of guess what, how much it's going to be. Of course, then she'll have a, 
she's gonna give us a border to put around it as, as well and so it will be a little bit bigger but it's like lapgan size so I, I'm liking it just scraps that I'm using uh, I just try to um, Ever so often, you know, I try to uh, repeat some of the colors, you know, if I haven't done a blue in a while and it's down here, I'll put another blue in and that, like that. So anyway, uh, it's helping me use my basket of scraps that I had to begin with to start this off with, so that's good. <clears throat> okay, and let's see, that is works in progress number two. Works in progress number three. Okay, so the next amigurumi I'm working on is the one I was telling you that is uh, for a baby shower, and the parents-to-be are big soccer fans. And so uh, the lady that was wanting me to do this for her so then she could give it as a gift, uh, she was... She was... Um, wanting uh, to use their, uh, wanted me to try to make their mascot um, as a gift in Amigurumi. And so the mascot of the of their favorite team are, is a goat. It's, it's called the Chivas. It is a, I think it's a Mexican, Mexican team, I think, or from Mexico, I think. Uh, but I'm not sure. But anyway, Chivas means goat. So uh, here's what I've gotten so far. This is a pattern. I bought the pattern and um, I don't know if I have. I'll put a link to the pattern uh, in the description box below. I can't remember. I don't know if I have a picture readily available of the goat. Let me just look right fast here. Uh, no, I don't see it. Let me click my screenshots. No, I don't have it. So, but I'll put a link in the description box below. But anyway, it was a paid for pattern. I think I got it. I think I got it off Etsy, but I think it's available on Ravelry as well. But anyway, um, the one, the goat that I'm doing the pattern from is actually a brown goat with just no clothes, you know, just a regular goat. And so I'm using that pattern because uh, she liked the body shape of the character of the amigurumi, and so I'm using that, but I'm changing it because of the soccer team has red and white stripes on their um, jerseys and then uh, dark blue shorts. And so uh, I did the sh head like normal. Now, this is not eyelashes or anything, it's supposed to be marking the stitches where I'm supposed that's the front of the face, and I believe I put the muzzle. That's where I have to attach the muzzle, so that's what those markers are for. They won't, they won't be there. <laughs> anyway, um, so I did the head like normal, but in white instead of brown, uh, just to go along with the mascot. And then um, it was like 36 stitches around um, starting at the... T at the body and so I just kind of evened that out as six stitches per stripe so then I would uh, the stitches would go all the way around but I'm not quite happy with it I think I went down too far with the shirt before I started the shorts um, because of where the tail is supposed to fit so I think I'm going to rip it back up a little ways I'm not sure how many rows maybe two rows up and then you know to start the shorts earlier um, so I'm still kind of messing around with it <laughs> but I did go ahead and I have in my one of my project bags but I have the, I made the horns for the goat and his ears and his muzzle and so I was thinking that I'll go ahead and get his face done um, the ears everything sewed on so I can get a good look at what it's supposed to look like and then I will kind of mess around with the stripes I don't know if I'll pull them I, I don't really like the fact that they're that wide but I needed something that was even so then it would be red, white, red, white, you know, all the way around. So it had to be kind of a certain count. So then it would be an even number of stripes. Yeah. And see, right now I've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six. And so um, I don't know. I, I, may, I don't know if I'll just uh, leave these stripes like it is or if I'll raise up the, the shorts, you know, like rip out two rows and then start the shorts two rows sooner and then go down because see at that point now I'm ready to already start decreasing down and so 
I'm thinking that the, his bottom part is not going to be big enough, so uh, we'll see. I'm still messing with it, but <laughs> uh, it's coming together easier than I thought. I was kind of dreading and thinking, oh, they're going to spiral the, the stripes, but they're pretty good. They're a little bit off-centered from where the front of the face is, but um, we'll see. Was, I'll show you next week uh, what I've done on it. <laughs> Okay, so um, that's it. That's all of my works in progress. Uh, I've spent a lot of time with this, the fall graph along preparing, um, filming the tutorials for each of the pieces. Uh, because I had had requests for people that wanted me to do uh, a graph tutorial uh, using the corner to corner how to follow a graph. And so I, it just kind of... It just kind of grew from that simple. I was just going to do like a pumpkin square, but then I just kind of got interested in designing the squares and I just kind of kept on with it and it turned into a project. So um, it kind of expanded bigger than I thought, but I'm, I'm real happy with it though. I like it. <laughs> in fact, um, I like it so much. I'll just go into my upcoming things now, but I like it so much and enjoyed it that I'm now working on a winter project, um, a winter wall hanging. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I will do since, see, this was kind of a teaching tutorial for those that have never done graph or wasn't confident doing um, corner to corner graphs. And so I just kind of use that as kind of a teaching tutorial as well um, so I don't know if this winter wall hanging if I will do that I mean I want I want to go ahead and get the pattern written up and uh, well it's charts more than writing because um, that's kind of how you do a graph GAN, you follow the charts. And so uh, I will have that plus written instructions like at the, at the back, the bottom of it, like as far as assembly and all that. Um, I will have that available in my Ravelry store, but I don't know if I will do tutorials on those or not. Um, anyway, I'm still working on it, but I'm enjoying working on it. Um, and then I may do a Christmas one. I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of wanted the seasonal ones to be not like for winter, not to be a Christmas themed one, but something that you could hang up and leave up for all winter and not think, oh, it's after Christmas. I need to take my Christmas decoration down, you know? So anyway, um, that's in the works. So stay tuned though. <laughs> and then let's see what else. Oh, uh, the Nick U hats that I've been making, I showed you last week. I didn't make any this week, but uh, some of the ones that I've been making, like here's the tiger and the monkey, um, and then I did a pumpkin and different ones. Well, anyway, I got these patterns off of Cream of the Crop crochet and dot com <laughs> and uh, they she like I was telling you last week they have lots of really super cute patterns uh, for n newborns but is also for preemies is mainly ones I was looking at because of the NICU um, Halloween hat drive that I am um, going to be donating to here in my city and so anyway uh, I had a few requests as far as uh, me doing a tutorial on on one of these or putting the pieces together stuff like that and so um since it was not my pattern i contacted the owners of the website and they got back to me and i well i had asked them permission if i could do tutorials on their preemie hats and um they got back with me and they said yes that i can do tutorial that i had their permission to use their patterns and do a tutorial so look uh, um, be looking for that. Um, I think it's going to be fun and uh, I of course I will give them full credit and uh, also um, they want me to send them a link to the video so then they can um, see it also enjoy it and enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very happy that they gave me permission to be able to do that. I think it's going to be a fun time, fun tutorial to do. Okay so um, so that's upcoming. And then, of course, my llama blanket will return. I'm, I'm really wanting to get working on that again. Uh, I did hit the halfway mark. 
yes, <laughs> on that. And so I'm really anxious to get back working on that. So hopefully I can get, get some time in on it um, this upcoming week and I'll have it to show you ne next week. Not finished, of course, but I'll have some progress, more progress to show you on it. Okay, and then it's the end of September. Well, next week will be the end of September, right? No, this is the last week of September. Yeah, Monday is the October 1st. Anyway, uh, so that means the third quarter of the year is getting is wrapping up. And that means <laughs> that I am due to make a third quarter um, goals update video to see my uh, re, re take another look at my goals for this year and see how I'm doing on them and um, so I, I'm going to be doing that I'll, I'll try to get that together and get that filmed and made and released <laughs> um, in a few days yeah um, so t stay tuned for that you can see my totals of how many squares I've made today from January to now you know and uh, how many other items I've made and uh, have I met some of the, have I met the goals or am I working on which goals I haven't worked on that I've set for myself for this year so um, stay tuned for that uh, and check it out when I get it posted <laughs> okay and then let's see oh and then you know I did the circular vest a few weeks ago I need I have another circular vest I need to get started this one will be a little bit larger sized and so I need to be uh, I need to start working on that and I also have a uh, Bernat blanket well I guess Bernat well you know the blanket yarn I have a project to make with that I've never made used that before so Seta I hope you can give me pointers as far as using that because I know that Seta of Seta's Place uh, enjoys using the Bernat blanket yarn and so uh, I'm anxious to get started I don't think it's going to be a really cute project and it will be a Christmas gift so um, I want to go ahead and maybe get a chance possibly this weekend maybe to go to the store and see if I can start picking up some of the colors that I need for that. I think that's it. Lots of information. <laughs> um, I hope everybody's doing well this week. Oh, and thank you so much for my subscribers. We've passed the 1800 mark. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> and um, so uh, on our way, we're on our way. <laughs> and all thanks to you, all thanks to you, my subscribers, uh, for being interested in watching my videos and seeing what I'm doing. Um, uh, I just really appreciate that so much. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please do and check out the things I've been doing. And now that I've actually made a de started designing a little bit, um, you know, keep up with me as far as what I'm going to be designing next um, and in my projects, what I'm doing. And, and please, so please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button below um, if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> and uh, now I think that's it. <laughs> So everybody have a great weekend. Uh, we are having a little bit cooler weather now here in Texas. We had a kind of a wet season or when well, a wet season, but a wet two or three weeks, I guess, off and on, you know, throughout and got a pretty good amount. So everything's getting really nice and green, but everybody's out cutting their lawns now. <laughs> um, but the temperatures is a little cooler in the morning. So that's a very uh, refreshing uh um, refreshing something new in other words <laughs> it's been so hot it still is getting into the 80s up, upper 80s mid to upper 80s uh, for our high degree now that is Fahrenheit uh, you have to look up the conversion for Celsius because we do use Fahrenheit um, but it is definitely fall is in the air so that's that's fun uh, change you know um, so I guess that's it. I'm just going on and on visiting. So <laughs> um, everybody has a have a great weekend, and uh, we will see you in the next video, which will be in a few days possibly. And then, of course, episode 70 will be next week. So um, take care, guys, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>